How to disagree politely in English. In our personal and professional lives, we are often part of conversations in which we find ourselves disagreeing with someone. And when you disagree with someone, it can often be very difficult to express your point of view without offending that person. At the same time, it is important to express your honest opinion and to do so professionally and elegantly. Being able to express disagreement politely is a skill. In this video, we will look at six different ways to disagree politely in English. Tip number one. Acknowledge the other person's opinion before you disagree. For example, you could say, that's a valid point, but I have a different view. Or, I see what you're saying, but I think. Or, your point is relevant. I have a different opinion. Tip number two. Using an apology to introduce your disagreement is another way of making your disagreement sound more polite. Like this. I'm sorry, but I disagree with you about this. Or, I'm sorry, I must disagree with you as I have a different opinion. Tip number three. Avoid saying that the other person is wrong as this might hurt or offend them. Instead, start your disagreement as a question that invites the other person to consider a new point of view. For example, you could say, have you considered this point of view? Or, why don't we look at this in another way? Tip number four. Show that you have understood the other person's opinion or point of view before expressing your disagreement. You can do this by repeating what they have said or by restating what they have said in your own words. You could start like this. I understood your point. You said and then follow it up with your point. Tip number five. Use specific transition words to signal disagreement. Transition words and phrases such as on the other hand, however, yet and although are very effective at alerting the other person that you are about to express disagreement. Why is this important? Because effective communication is all about thoughtful and careful choice of words. Using transition words to give a heads up or to signal a change in the tone of your communication is a very, very important strategy in good communication. Tip number six. A polite disagreement should always be backed by accurate facts and information. If you are going to disagree with someone, make sure that you have a good reason to do so. Simply saying that you disagree is not professional in work conversations. Back up your opinion with background information, research or facts that clearly illustrate the accuracy of your opinion. Disagreement does not have to be rude or confrontational at all. Disagreement can be done politely but directly. In work situations especially, this is very important. It's always easier to agree than to disagree. But with practice and careful choice of thoughtful words, one can learn how to disagree politely. Remember, avoid putting down the other person's ideas and beliefs and use I statements to communicate how you feel or think and what you want or need. I hope you found this video helpful. Please keep coming back for more tips and tricks for teachers. Thank you for watching.